Hello, my name is Raluca and today I'm going to introduce you to a well-being kit, let's call it, or a well-being box. In the nursery, for example, we would introduce to the children different objects or techniques that will help them calm down and then we place them in one area, a box or a special type of bag. The reason why we chose to use this strategy is because uh, it creates an independent behavior as well, so the children are learning how to self-manage their feelings. For example, if you saw one of my clips, I've created this sensory resource which is made uh, from a balloon and it's filled with some rice and this helps the children when they feel a bit fidgety or a bit uh, stressed. Another resource that you can have can be uh, a toy that they can squeeze like this in their hand uh, or if you've got at home some Play-Doh, that's another resource they, they can use and some magic balloons. I say magic because we've seen the children using them often and as they puff out um, and blow the balloons, we count and not only count, it's important that as the children are using the objects, you actually verbalize and describe what you see the children doing. For example, I can see uh, you're feeling a bit sad now, or I can see you are starting to feel better as you pop out the balloons and this creates awareness in the children in the process they are experiencing. So try not to ask too many questions, wait for them to first calm down give them the techniques, for example, tell them, okay, now I will give you the balloons, you can blow them out or the other calming down resources and ask them to come to you when they feel they are ready to talk. And then you can discuss what you can do better next time. It's important that you focus a lot on what you can do next time, not so much on what just happened, um, and illustrate only the less positive things, but this will help the children uh, find better solutions in the future and not focus so much on that. I would like to show you another simple breathing exercise that you can use. It's called a candle and a flower. And the magic about this is that you don't actually have to have these objects. It's a way in which you can explain to the children a special type of breathing. So I'm going to put them away. And remember here we've got the flower and here we've got the candle. When you inhale the air, you take a deep breath in. So you ask the children to imagine they have a flower. So you can ask them what kind of flower. Uh, is it big? Is it small? What color is it? So this will help them actually visualize something that is really pleasant for them. So as we take the air out, we need to explain to the children that we need to do it slowly so we don't blow out the candle. What I suggest you to do in order to support them in uh, maintaining a routine and having continuity and being constant in the behavior is to choose some targets, so take small steps. Uh, and for example, if you expect your child to try this week to go to sleep at uh, 9 o'clock, a strong motivator can be to tell them that if we manage to do that at the end of the week, for example, you can have a party. In the nursery, this strategy works really well because I'm sure that all the children love parties and they are all asking, when is my birthday? When can I have a cake, for example? 
And uh, in order for this not to be something very complicated, it can be you either making uh, something together with them, such as baking a cookie. It can be your child actually preparing the decorations. Don't forget to celebrate. That's the most important bit. And when I talk about the party, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, because for children at this age, what is important is to actually feel that it's a quality time, that they feel the energy of the corona, and they really feel that their achievements are being celebrated. So when I talk about a party, it can be 10 minutes when both you and your child just play some music and you dance around and celebrate your achievements as well. I hope you enjoyed the tips I gave you today and uh, stay safe and happy.